Black Lives Matter campaigns, but they all the same. Like they all run together. It's just a little gay cult, or Twitter, Twitter fingers, like my man Cap call them, Twitter activists, activists. Cause they don't do shit, but uh, they don't do shit but tweet while we while we was in the streets, you know, turn shit up, you know, protest, you know. I mean, certain people was protesting, certain people was riding, certain people was uh, you know, organizing it, you know. Making moves, they was just sitting back tweeting, Twitter fingers, you know. I mean, we all put things on social media so the world can know, but they literally just sat there and tweeted the whole shit. But while they tweeted the whole shit, I mean, you know, white folk, black people ain't on Twitter. Like, how many of y'all on Twitter? Don't nobody be on Twitter. The white folk shit. So while they tweeting, they playing cat and mouse with the white folks. You know, they racist. They hiding behind fake pages on Twitter talking shit. Going back and forth, retweets, retweets. It's like a big ass show, you know. So you got a lot of people sending them money, turning them into stars. Oprah tweeting at her and all that. They calling her fucking the face of Ferguson. Don't nobody know who the fuck she is. She ain't the face of shit. Wasn't even out there. When she came out there, she just sat there and tweeted. Like, what you the face of Twitter? That's what I call them. But anyways, man. A lot of people don't understand Black Lives Matter as an organization. They think it's just a hashtag and people just saying, man, anytime white folks are part of it, they put it in the media, something behind it. Believe that. I mean, you got a Twitter, but you don't be on the motherfucker. I ain't ever seen you on Twitter. I got a Twitter too, but shit, who uses that shit for real? Like, we use it for promo and little shit like that, but we ain't really using no goddamn Twitter. Anyways, feel free to comment and, and, you know, give y'all opinions on this whole Black Lives Matter bullshit. But anyways, Black Lives Matter is a bunch of computer nerds. First of all, them being gay, is, I, don't got nothing, I don't got nothing against them because they gay. I don't agree with the lifestyle of, uh, you know, of homosexuality, but I don't agree with a lot of shit people do. They don't got. I don't go. I'm not. I'm not gonna dislike you because you do some shit I don't like. I'm pretty sure I do shit people don't like. I don't agree with. Ain't healthy for me in their eyes. So we just agree on lifestyles. Disagree on lifestyles, but that ain't why. But they use that shit as a shield when they doing all this bullshit. They try to come say, "Oh, he's just homophobic. He hated man. My, my auntie been married to a woman since man since forever. Like." I don't agree with the lifestyle because I don't see a long-term benefit of it. You can't reproduce when you when you messing with a woman, mess with a woman, a man mess with a man. But that don't mean I hate you because you. I don't hate you for it. I ain't homophobic, homophobia. I mean, you gotta be. A phobia is a fear. I don't. Anybody know me? Know I'm for a motherfucker thing. Especially nobody that's gay. What the fuck am I afraid of that for? So it ain't about that. But they'll use that to distract people, make them people think like, oh, don't take what he's saying serious because he's just some homophobic thug nigga. He just, you know, angry. Oh, that the whole time they was doing this shit. I was telling everybody. I bitch smacked D Ray in front of everybody. Half the motherfuckers that's mad now took his side then. I'm like, how y'all taking this man's side? Why I taking this man's side? Shit. All right, we back. But uh, and you was he didn't use none of the money to help Ferguson, none of the money to help the Brown family. I mean, he was just co collecting it, you know, building this little campaign off this shit. They try to run for office and all of that. The whole shit was a scheme, and I seen it. I seen it early because I've been in St. Louis my whole life. Cops kill niggas here every day. People die here every day. Why all of a sudden all these people coming like, like 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 pretending they care about it so much? All of a sudden, that was my whole mentality. Like. Where the fuck y'all come from? Where all this fake love come from? You know what I mean? If you weren't here before the media, I, I ain't take you serious. I don't give for who you was. Tyler Kweli, any of the other motherfuckers. I really ain't take none of them serious because at the end of the day, y'all came because of the media. End of the, end of the story. The CNN ain't show up. None of them motherfuckers would have cared about Mike Brown. So, I, I really wasn't tripping off the shit they was doing. But I just noticed, like, man, these cats is really building a whole fucking campaign off our shit and, and soliciting all these funds off our shit. And then black folks, you know, we ignorant to a lot of this type of shit because we ain't into that. 
So when they when they started the hashtag Black Lives Matter, it was so catchy that everybody shared it, everybody started saying it, and it became so fucking big, so large, people actually thought, like, oh, this is just a catchy hashtag, but what what people didn't know it, this was actually an organization. The founding members are three lesbian girls. D-Ray, uh, the girls, Brittany Alexis, uh, the dude Charles Wade, all the people that's involved in this whole little, in the forefront of this whole Black Lives Matter campaign zero shit, they all gay. It's like a gay cop. So they using this shit. They using their sexuality for protection. Cause you know the white folks, they're gonna protect you when you get it. Fuck with you if you get it. So they they doing they still listening to all these funds, doing all this fraud shit. And they're using the fact they're gay as a shield. So you really can't say shit about them because when you do, they they come they come for your neck. They stick together. They, you know what I mean? All of them eating off Mike Brown death though. Now they traveling. D Ray, he go to Yale. They get him like 40 bands to go to Yale and speak. They got him as the face of Ferguson. He ain't even from this motherfucker. Never even been in this motherfucker until Mike Brown died. Dude from Baltimore. And they ran him up out of there. Now he down here the face of Ferguson, the face of the movement. They calling him the next Malcolm X. That's a fucking insult. Malcolm X wouldn't even respect that man, let alone be anything like him. But anyways. Anyways, so you got um, Black Lives Matter shit. It's blowing up. And if you notice, as it's blowing up, you're not hearing about Mike Brown anymore. You're not hearing about Darren Wilson anymore. You're not hearing about the, uh, you know, the Ferguson Police Department anymore. We're not hearing about none of this corrupt shit by McCullough and Jay Nixon. You're not hearing about none of this shit no more. All you're hearing about is Black Lives Matter now. They took the energy away from Ferguson. But they did it so intelligently, a lot of people didn't understand what was going on when it was going on, so they was helping these motherfuckers. Not even knowing, they still in our, they still in our shit. They still in our shine. A lot of cats went to jail for us to be the main topic in the media. A lot of cats risked their life. Spook got shot in the head. She could she could be dead right now. You know what I mean? A lot of shit happened for this shit to, to grow into what it became. That was an opportunity to really fight back and really make a change in Ferguson and Missouri as a whole. But as you see, nobody was no, nobody was indicted. Most of the um, most of the people that was in office still in office, and nothing really happened. They just clearly got away with murder. Nothing happened. Now they on to the next city, then the next city, then the next city, then the next city. Then the next city. Being superstars off our shit we created here. While we sitting back still like damn. What we gonna do? Then after Mike Brown, it was Kajin Powell, then you had Von Derek Myers, and so on and so on and so on. Cops ain't stopped killing her since Mike Brown died. And what Black Lives Matter doing about it? They just collecting chicks. I ain't heard of them paying for no funerals. I ain't heard of them starting no programs for the youth, building no centers, nothing. You know what I mean? So we back at square one, back where we started. No justice, no nothing. And the biggest problem is, it's a lot of local people that sold out because they wanted that GoFundMe money. They wanted that grant money. It was all about money to them, man. When I went out there, man, like I told them from day one, I already got money. Like, you know what I mean? I got a great job. I got money saved up. I'm invested in businesses. I already had my paper straight before I got out there. So it was never about no money with me because I already got money. You can't you can't buy my soul, my nigga. Like, I had money. I've been having money for years, man. I came from the streets. I know how to get money. I don't need to use Mike Brown to get no goddamn money. And that's why to this day, his dad still fuck with me. His dad called me. Matter of fact, I talked to Mike Brown senior two days ago. He want me to do something for him and his wife. And we just, matter of fact, we just had a sit uh, 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 a round table meeting with all the police chiefs. You know, I, I'm cursing their ass, start snapping on them. And me and Mike Brown, you know, we, we talked about. It. We like, man, you see, now that the, now that the media circus is over, who still by your side? Who still with you in this war? Now that you need somebody to be there and talk with you, because Mike Brown ain't, he a soldier. Like, he one of the realest dudes because a lot of people don't give a fuck about their kids dying. A lot of these men ain't stepping up. You see the mothers in the media, but you don't see the fathers. But Mike Brown, he stood tall. So I respect that man. But at the same time, 
he ain't signed up for this, so he don't really know all it is to know about racism and the system of how it works. So he be need cats like me, cats that's really educated on it, to come there and holler at these motherfuckers for him. You know what I mean? And, and, and stand tall with them. How they do? When they when they kill us, they stand with each other. But now, now that the media gone, where everybody at? You know what I mean? So this Black Lives Matter shit, man. Y'all gotta do some research on these people and find out who they are, what they've done, and all the motherfucking checks they collected. Google just gave these motherfuckers five hundred thousand dollars. I kid you not. You can look it up right now. Where that money go? Who benefiting from this besides them? And I ain't. I don't like. To, I, like I said, I got paper. I don't need no paper. I ain't. I ain't put a GoFundMe up. And put no money in my pocket yet. Yeah, I ain't just took no grant money. I ain't joined no orgs. All these fucking punk ass orgs. What the fuck y'all doing? Y'all getting paid. And don't think I don't know about you niggas out there. All you niggas in these orgs getting paid five, ten grand a month traveling the fucking world, speaking like y'all fucking helping the community. Ain't doing shit for the community. You, you sell out motherfuckers. Y'all don't want, y'all made these motherfuckers into who they are. We got blood, sweat, and tears in the streets for nothing. People risk their lives. People lost their jobs, lost their homes. Cast in prison right now, doing five, ten years behind Mike Brown. Make this Mike Brown shit. This shit was real. And all you niggas wanted was a, was a couple of dollars. We could have changed the fucking world. All you wanted was a fucking donation and a fucking a couple Twitter followers. You niggas is pussies. I don't respect none of that shit. Like I said, I ain't getting, I ain't getting in for no money. First of all, I didn't even know you could make money off that type of shit. Like I didn't even, I didn't know shit about the, 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 the soliciting grant funds shit. I, I ain't, I ain't no blue collar criminal. Like I, I don't think I ever did was some street shit. So I don't know nothing about that. I came, I came out there strictly to talk about racism, educate people, let them know how we need to come together and use our funds to, 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 to grow economically. Cause that's the real way you, you, be, you beat racism by cutting off that motherfucking lifeline. We don't need y'all. We ain't giving y'all a lot of money. That's my whole thing. But people want to know that. Everybody starts as an opportunity. Let me start an organization. Give me a look. Give me a couple grants. A couple grants. Start me a couple GoFundMes. Do a tweet a little bit. And now they big shots. They traveling the world. Oh man, follow follow all these motherfuckers on Twitter, man. Check check out what they doing, man. They 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 wildin', man. Like the dude Charles Way, they say he came here. This little roly poly looking motherfucker, he came here. And I got into it with him too, man. Everybody I'm talking about, they they can't stand me. Like Netta, I mean Netta, D Ray, they blocked me from Twitter. Charles Way blocked me from Twitter. Alexis Brittany blocked me from Twitter. They, they hate my ass because I call them out. I'm tagging your name, all that. I'm saying your name. I'm not gonna sneak this. All these other punk ass niggas, they be talking that shit to me behind closed doors. Yeah, bro, that ain't right. Yeah, but y'all bitch ass niggas standing next to him in public though. Why? Cause it's like a it's like a whack rapper with a hit record. You know he trash, but he booming. So you don't want to call them that because you want to keep your tired. That's what they doing right now. They want to keep their ties with these motherfuckers because they popping. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't care how many followers you got on Twitter. Fuck you. You's a fraud. That's blood money. You should listen to funds from a dead kid. I don't give a fuck how much money. How, how, how many Twitter followers you got? How much money you got? I don't need you pussies. I got my own money. I know how to eat. I take care of my family. We good over here. I don't need that's why Mike Brown say you fucks with me because he know like bro I'm, I'm good bro you don't see me never I don't, you don't see me hurting I ain't asking nobody for no dollar I, I'm getting mine I ain't gonna use your son I ain't gonna use your child that's no leverage I'm gonna use my voice I was already trending I was already trending on Facebook and all that shit I was already thousands and thousands of likes and followers before Mike died Mike Brown didn't that didn't benefit me. If anything, Cash was actually they like, coming at me. They thought I was on some bullshit. They like, man, look at this old street nigga, thug nigga. They laughing and shit. They they thought I was on some like this nigga was selling drugs a couple years ago. Now he doing this shit high, laughing at me. But then I stayed so consistent with it, I opened their eyes to this shit. Now everybody like, damn, I respect you. I fuck with you, bro. You you ain't been out there with fire kind of you, you you real deal with this shit. So I ain't come out there because I was gonna benefit from. Them. I went out there. Cause it was real. That, that was that was in my heart to do. 
But the only thing I did benefit from Michael Brown, I would say this, it cleaned up my image. Because people just saw me as just a street nigga. I was talking that shit, but people ain't see, ain't get it until I started showing it. That's what Mike Brown did for me, and I appreciate that. But I ain't make no money off Mike Brown. I wasn't soliciting funds. I wasn't none of that. You know what I mean? But yeah, Black Lives Matter, Campaign Zero, all these motherfuckers, man, they making millions of dollars. They ain't talking about no little chump change. They ain't talking about no petty money. If it was petty shit, i still call them out, but it wouldn't be a big deal. Like, these motherfuckers is eating. Cars, houses. You know what I mean? They driving around in nice, nice vehicles. All out the fact Mike Brown died. And this the long and this the long term effects of it. If they willing to keep sending our kids out every time they die for a little money, what's gonna stop these white folks, these cops? You know, what's gonna stop these people from killing these babies? What's gonna stop them? Ain't no consequences for it. Give these niggas a little money, they ain't mad no more. All they want was a little paper. They don't really care about Mike Brown being dead in the streets. Look at Tamir Rice, 12 years old. They don't even talk about him. They don't give a fuck about that shit. Give them a little money, they gonna shut the fuck up. Once white folks realize that, they start cashing out. Why do you think they ain't in the, in the streets of Ferguson no more? Where the fire go? Where the passion go? Where the pain go? Where the anger go? Money. That's where it went. So all I'm gonna say is keep your kids away from these type of people. They vultures. They leeches. Cause they had your kids out there protesting and burning shit up, and thinking they doing doing something. Next thing you know, your people's in prison or, or in jail fighting a fucking case, and they ain't using none of that fucking money to help them. Even Tyler Kwali, a lot of people look at him as a conscious rapper and a real dude. And I, I talked to him. I mean, he come off as somebody who like humble and soft spoken and. I don't really trust that though, cause a lot of soft niggas use that shit as a, as a, as a, as a, as a you know, they, they do that so you won't beat their ass. Cause I'm a type person. I, I, I told Tyler, I'll beat your ass, bro. Like I told Tyler Quali, he tell you, I told him, like, bro, I would, I would knock you the fuck out. Like I don't give a fuck about that rap shit, nigga. When I met him, it was on that. Like tough poverty got me above his ass for real. But he came across as a cool dude. And I'm like, damn, bro, my bad. Maybe, maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe you, maybe you got good intentions and just, you know, trusting the wrong people. But anyways, he raised one hundred and twelve thousand in an uh, account to bond out protesters. A lot of cats went to jail. They weren't getting bonded out. It was just like people he was cool with personally. He divide, but divide the money amongst them. And it went to different organizations. And these folks have donated all this money for legal fees. And now they're cash, lock, cash getting locked up. They need that need that money. Like Josh. Where is that? You know what I mean? It's some bullshit, man. So you just got like, man, this shit, like, if you notice, I fell back on a lot of that shit. I fell back for a reason. I'm still on it. Don't get me wrong. I'm still on it, but I would much rather be with a group of street niggas riding around with me and let me do the talking and let me show them about how racism going and all that and who the real enemy is than to be with these old computer nerd, fake Twitter revolutionary motherfuckers that's going to sell you out soon you go to jail. Matter of fact, they're going to get a police to video. Do I mentor? I mean, I, on paper I don't, but I've been through in the streets every day. Like I'm, I'm, I pull up in the hood. Like I, I be with them. I be in the gutter. I be talking to the to the niggas. People who don't even want to. People scared of. That's what I've been to. My little homies, the niggas who, who got felonies. You know what I mean? The little dudes in the trenches. That's what I be mentoring. But I had we had like a little uh, a little youth center. We had a whole bunch of kids. I started to go up there and talk to them. And, we was planning on doing so much shit for them, but it kind of got fucked up because we didn't have the money to really be funded. Because all the money going to people like Black Lives Matter. It's something, man, y'all don't understand, dog. We could have changed this whole city. It, niggas would not be out here hurting and, and starving how they is right now had that Ferguson shit been done right by genuine people. 
but it was out of town that they came here. Took the whole shit, all the money, and the local motherfucker, they just gave them petty money, man. I'll give y'all a couple thousand, you know what I mean? They end up turning on each other, falling out and shit over petty money. While these motherfuckers in the O's getting the big checks, and niggas here still hurting. So, that use in the shit, man, it, it could have been beautiful, man, but they fucked that up. We still can do it, but we would have had that shit right now. Everyone for people like Black Lives Matter. That's why I'm speaking out about this shit. But a lot of people don't know this. People think like, you know, Black Lives Matter is so clever because it's like, because it's like, all right. It's like, all right, this shit catchy. It's trending. People didn't know there was an organization. People didn't know there was like real people behind this shit. They just thought it was a, a like a saying, like a hashtag. Nah, it's, it's, it's more to it than just that. Like, this is, this is like, it's big business. It's big business. A lot of money in this shit. Uh, man, money at the root of all evil. Being broke is the root of all evil. White supremacy is the root of all evil in this country. Money don't mean shit, man. Like, that's a piece of paper, man. That shit ain't shit, man. Power. A lot, of, a lot of black people got money, man, but they don't got no power. They don't know how to use it. That's why the government, they're going to war every year, taking resources, land, gold, oil. That's the real shit right there. They love, they love money, man. We the only ones still caught up on money, man. Them white folks, they know what they doing. They on the, they on the power trip. They making us... It's like Hunger Games, man. They at the top eating. Or we at the bottom just killing each other over bullshit. Money, power, respect. Our, our dollars ain't only worth like 13 cents. That's what niggas don't know. Like our money ain't worth shit. In a minute, it ain't gonna be worth no money at all. It's mom's right here. What's gonna be pulling up, mom? I'm uh, like right around the corner. Okay. Yeah, you gotta pick moms up. You know how that go. She getting better though. Mom's been going through some shit, man. Just dialysis, man. Y'all gotta eat healthy, take care of your take care of your health, man, cause my mom's ain't even that old to be on that. My mom's only like forty seven. Yeah, my mom's forty seven years old on dialysis and she like go through a lot with that shit. She gonna be alright though, but I'm just saying, like, take care of yourself. That shit real. Urban League. Man, the Urban League. All oh, them fraud mother. What have Urban League did for niggas in all these years? It shouldn't take Mike Brown dying. Niggas wilding out, burning the whole city down twice in one year for them to actually do some shit. But y'all been getting grant money all these fucking years. Ain't that, man, fuck oh, Urban League. Fuck NAACP. All that bullshit, man. It's the old, out with the old, in with the new. We need grassroots organizations from the people in, in the community. People who genuinely give a fuck. People who, from the struggle. You ain't gonna, and people are on leadership. Leadership don't come from Yale, Princeton. Leadership don't come from Harvard. They ain't been through this shit. Huey Newton was a gangster. Malcolm X was a pimp. I ain't no, I only like Martin. I ain't no real big fan of him, but even him, he was a poor ass preacher. Like, this shit come from the ground, man. All these motherfuckers, old, well educated, you know, they pussy. They, don't, they ain't gonna sacrifice their life for this shit. They ain't gonna die for y'all, y'all kids. They don't wanna lose their motherfucking position. They ties. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. You kill me tomorrow. I ain't never gonna not speak on this on the real. And they know that. They knew that when they met me. That's why they, they made sh man. They made sure my face ain't get too big. I always been popular in the city, but they made damn sure like, nah, we can't let this nigga, uh, uh, cause he ain't gonna sell out. He got a marketable ass face, and he speak from the heart. They gonna follow him. Uh, uh, keep him in the dark. I'm alright with that though. Cause I'm still, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna get mine regardless. But. 
I see the long-term effects of it, man. People following the wrong people, the wrong shit. People getting hurt. A lot of people still getting killed. Like, Mike Brown should have been the last Mike Brown. How many Mike Browns has it been since Mike Brown? Ask yourself that question. Yeah. Sellouts. They beat us by using us. Give a nigga a little money, to forget about all that old political shit real fast. All that conscious African shit they be talking about. It sound good on paper. Put some money in their face. They're going to forget about all of that. Just real shit. I'm just telling y'all from experience. This ain't like no, I'm thinking. Like, y'all watch me live this shit. So when I'm telling y'all this shit, I'm telling y'all to warn y'all. Like, don't continue making the same mistakes over and over. Like, we gotta grow and learn from our mistakes. Don't keep on putting these soft ass, Don Lemon, educated cornball niggas in, in leadership positions. If a nigga ain't gangster, but nigga never been to jail. Nigga ain't got no bully wounds, no, he ain't never saw no dope. He ain't, he not fit to be no leader. Cause you gotta go through some shit to be a leader. You gotta have that pain in your heart. This shit in my heart. I got a lot of friends, man, I lost 10 people last year. Six of them was friends, four of them was family. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about no money. I wanna see the world change for my people. Cause we the ones suffering. When all this shit over with, when all the GoFundMe's dry, Nah, when Black Lives Matter ain't, ain't trending no more, guess what? Niggas still gonna be done. Back to square one. So when niggas finally come together, and if you from St. Louis, you know niggas never come together here. The one time we actually came together was when Mike Brown died. And shit still ain't changed. Because niggas sold us out. So when niggas finally come together, make sure y'all put the right niggas in, 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 in leadership position. Don't wait for the educated cornball to come speak for you. Because he could talk all that articulate shit but he can't speak from the heart because he ain't going through this shit you're going through the people who don't live the struggle they don't give a fuck about it that's why a lot of white folks ain't talking about what's going on with black folks because they don't understand it they don't care about it they ain't living it man common sense ain't coming oh all right all right okay 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 Good looking out. Yeah, picking up moms from the hospital. I hate my mom kind of keep going through this shit. She ain't been in this joint like five times within the past month. I, mean, I hope this the last time. It's some bullshit. But yeah, man, just... Just, you know, just pay attention, man. Quit, quit watching reality shows and shit. It's cool. I mean, you can watch a little bullshit on TV, but, man, spend some time paying attention to real life, man. Like, And that's why I'm not into a lot of women. You know, I mean, you know, sex, cool, laugh, and fun. 